Hi guys, it's your friend Missy Mae back for some more quests in Freeside. I know, we're still here doing this thing. Despite the fact that I told you I wanted to go do this Camp McCarran thing, which I still want to do. I really still want to do this. But, and it's a big bud. <laughs> but, since Camp McCarran's supposed to be a big, important NCR base, I think there's going to be more to do there than just talk to Dr. Hildern. So... I'm thinking we'll hold off and do this after we finish up a couple more things here in Freeside. Because that's probably going to be like Dialogue Simulator 2000 if I go there. It's, I mean, it's going to be a lot of dialogue. And I love to talk to the NPCs. So we're going to talk to everybody. And it's going to take a while. So before we jump into that, I can't believe I just used that phrase. Isn't that like a stereotypical YouTuber phrase? I'm so sorry. Before we go do that, I just... I just I don't know. I thought maybe we'd finish Wang Dang Atomic Tango. Oh, please click. What's going on with the interface? It's not clicking. Clickety click, please. No? Any other quests? No? The quest log is broken. There we go. Now it works. All right. Yeah, I thought we'd do this first. Because of all the reasons I've already said and I don't need to repeat myself. But it's another but. <laughs> Thanks to you guys, I actually know where I'm going for this. Because apparently this, this cursed road keeps going. Like, I thought it ended, when I first came up this way, I thought it ended here. Like, I didn't even realize this whole train station deal was a thing until I got pointed up here for, you know, the quest with the squatters that we just did. But apparently it keeps going even further. I mean, I wouldn't have thought that. Look, this looks like an ending. This looks pretty finite right here. In it finite. <laughs> But no, it keeps going. And there's a robotics place over there somewhere so we can get this horrible, horrible robot. Or James Garrett. How about that? We have right here, Acme Realty. And we have right here, Denny's Hotel. No vacancy. It's Novak. <laughs> Novak 2.0 right here. It's closed down though, how sad. But yeah, and then, judging by the marker, the robotics place is right around this corner. Here's a door. That's pretty sneaky. Yeah, this is pretty well hidden. I can see why some of you said it was hard to find. Thank you for giving me directions to this place. I'm not very bright. I'm not sure I would have realized. But anyhow, we're here now. Hooray. And we can do what we've got to do. I see a red and another red. Which door do we want to go through first? How about this? That's this one. It's a rat. Oh, it's... Oh, look at it. It's cute. Well, I don't want to fight it if it's cute. It's like the geckos all over again. I may just have to let the guys take care of this for me. Yeah, I'm just going to let them handle it. You guys handle it. I don't know how many rats are in this place. But y'all handle it. I'll, I'll stay on the couch. That's what women do, right? We get on the couch while the men take care of the rats. Am I correctly womaning? Am I fulfilling my role? Yeah. I did good. I did a good job. I still feel bad for them, though, but... Since I don't have the animal friend perk, and I don't think I'll ever have the animal friend perk, I guess I have to deal with it. If you're wondering why I'm looking at a very clearly inaccessible door, it's because sometimes places like this, they don't get enough clutter put in them. And you can see through the map. I thought I saw something up there, but I guess not. Anyway, no such luck with this door. But sometimes if you see me looking at an, in a... I was going to say in, in, in important. That's not a word. <laughs> I think I was thinking of the word inappropriate <laughs> because we're doing this quest. This quest for the Garrets. But, uh, yeah, if you see me looking at any unimportant things, it's because sometimes I like to see if it's at all cursed, as I like to call it. More rats. Guys, Boon. Spoon. Spoon. Rats. Please. 
Eat this. I don't <sighs> want to eat rats. You're shooting the desk, sweetie. Eddie's got it, though. Ah, I feel bad for them. I don't want to watch them bleed. Poor things! They're so cute! Look at their spots! Look at their little spots. I would 100% adopt one of these. I need a pet rat. That would be so great. They're so cute. But yeah, the marker is over here. So... I believe this is, uh, this is gonna be it. But... Having a look around first. Not that I'm stalling because I hate this or anything. Okay. Hello. Little Protectron. I'm about to ruin your whole life. Okay. At least we have enough science to get into this computer. Oh, wait. What about the hollow tape? I didn't even go get the hollow tape from. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm going to need that, right? Okay. Well, I guess I can at least hack into this first. Disgraced. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Making absolutely horrible jokes and forgetting the hollow tape. Uh-oh. Only one thing left. I guess I better actually start trying. Please refresh my allowances. Yeah, well, you know the drill. There we go. We did it. Okay, let's see what we can do with this thing. We can run a diagnostic routine and we can upload the programming routine that we don't have. If we run diagnostics, it's normal. What happens if we select upload? We can actually use a science option to do it ourselves, but I feel so bad for Ralph. I made him sit and spend time out of his day to do this. Oh no! But if I use this one, since it requires science, I get XP for it, right? Right? I hope I get XP for that. I didn't get XP for that. I should have just let Ralph do it. I should have just used Ralph. Fully integrated All his work security technotronic wasted. officer active and reporting for duty. Okay. That's a mouthful. Let's shorten. Okay, no. Um, I'm going to call you... Impending injury, because you're going to hurt someone for sure. Yes, ma'am. Vesto reporting for duty. That's not what I need. Please you. No, assume no, no, no. the position. No. <laughs> no. I am programmed for your pleasure. Mm -mm. No, Please no, no. We're not doing this. The position. No, we're not doing this. Ain't no way. No. Um. Yeah, my pleasure is for you to go work at the... No, th why would you even... This is... No! Go away. Visto will report to the Atomic Wrangler for further orders. Yeah, just just get just get away from me. Go talk to James. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, just get out of here. I never want to see you again. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I programmed that. Oh, I feel gross. Oh, I should have just let Ralph do it. Oh, no, Ralph. My friend. I'm so sorry. You spent time out of your day <laughs> programming something awful. And it's a... Uh, pointless now because apparently I'm super smart and I can do the same thing you did like right away oh and there's a terminal like well that's just great that's just great we could have had two things to help us out and we didn't even use any of I can't believe I didn't get any XP for that that's the only reason I did it myself I just want you to know I took no joy out of programming this horrible thing myself I hope it's gone no it's still out here okay that's uh, I'm, I'm, mm. Can I travel away from it? I don't want to walk near it. <laughs> I'm treating it like a leper or something. It's just awful. Well. You know what? That's fine. I'll just walk. I'm so sorry about your life. Okay, that's... At least they don't have to worry about using... Protectron. That was so bad. Oh. Oh, I felt that one. It was so cringy. I'm so sorry. Today's a bad day. <laughs> We're doing bad today, guys. Anyway, let's just go tell the Garrets that we're done. And by tell the Garrets that we're done, I mean tell James that we're done. And then I'll talk to his sibling. Remember that time I got chased out of the 
room, you know, out of the bedroom. I wasn't supposed to be in there. I was snooping around. That was his twin sister. At least that's what I've gathered from the people. I thought at first that maybe it was like a wife situation, but apparently they're twins. So that's uh, neat. Do they work at different times of the day? I imagine that they might. But I'll just make sure I come here at a time when I can talk to her. Hey. Also, hey, and that time is now because uh, there she is. Hello, you are the sister. Yep, Francine. Let's talk to James first. Hi. Welcome back, friend. What can I get you? Well, I did all the horrible. Uh, I... Ooh. Oh, right. Yeah, we need to talk to him about the followers stuff too. But first, I I did what you wanted. I found you, the robot. You did? Ha, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers, I mean, I'm not oh, into really? that kind of shit. Oh, mm, really? Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I am sure you're not. <laughs> Thing is, it's a heavy-duty piece of equipment built to last. Oh, is that to extort more money? I would like more money. First, I'd like to discuss payment. This wasn't a cakewalk. Yeah. Yeah, you should pay me a lot. Hey, I'm amazed you even found the thing in the first place. Here is double for your trouble. Those freaky fetishists ought to be satisfied now. That's literally yourself. You just outed yourself. You realize you just outed yourself. I didn't pick up on it until now when he was super obvious. It's uh it's uh programmed. You just I don't even want to talk about it. It will? Okay, I don't know. No, 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 no. Just let it No, no, no. We're not going to imagine anything. It didn't happen to come with a no. No, no, no. Just stop. Ah, forget it. Just stop, please. Just stop. should do it. Okay, yeah, just oh, no. Stop, please. Followers. Really now. Well, this is news. Anything to change could the topic. Possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Mm. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. It's only been 15 minutes and I'm ready to call it quits for today. Oh. <laughs> this is too much for me. I can't handle this. Okay, sorry. Back to the topic. We're talking about the followers. We've moved on. I might be able to work something out. Good. We can supply them with all the med they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. Well, I'm sure it's better than We're nothing. We're on the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. Okay. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. Well, that's nice. We just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. Well, I mean, they could probably do that as long as you're helping them get materials. I, um, I also got you a smooth talker. He's kind of funny. He's, he's kind of a funny guy. And who would that be? His name is Santiago. He's, uh, he should be coming in pretty soon. That honey mouth son of a bitch? Fine. At least left to shut up occasionally. Those pretty lips of his are going to see more traffic than a Brahmin trail in low summer. Y'all are freaking me out. Okay. And the ghoul. We're, we're good. Imagine that. What's his name and when's he start? It's a girl. Her name's Beatrix. A she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. I just Looks don't like even... Looks like that gives us a full roster of new ass to sell. Good work. Okay. Enjoy the bonus. Yeah, just give me lots of money. Just, can you just... Oh, that's all? That's it? That's it? I'm gonna ransack this place. I deserve more. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm And we leveled up! Hooray! <laughs> All of our pain was worth something. Let's put points into lockpick. If we can get it up to 75 sometime soon, that would be pretty cool. But also, I don't really want to neglect speech. I'm neglecting a lot, if we're being honest. Repair is still stuck at 50. And medicine's kind of low. Do I want to build up medicine? I mean, I do. But do I want to do it now? That is the big, the big question. Let's put it in energy weapons. Maybe we'll get some energy weapon perks coming up sometime. That would be nice. Speaking of perks, it's that time again. Ladies and gentlemen. 
We can get the Admantium Skeleton. Your limbs only receive 50% of the damage they normally would. And Purifier. As a Purifier of the Wasteland, you do 50% damage with melee and unarmed weapons against Centaurs, Night Stalkers, Spore Plants, Spore Carriers, Death Claws, Super Mutants, and Feral Ghouls. Interesting. Spore Plants and Spore Carriers. Haven't met those yet. So, something to look forward to. If we go down to the ones that I don't meet the requirements for, just to make sure there's nothing I want to take. There's Center of Mass. You don't fool around with fancy trick shots straight to the midsection and down they go. And Vats, you do an additional 15% damage when attacking targets in the torso. That's pretty cool. It requires guns of 70, so does that mean it only works for guns? It doesn't specify a weapon type, so I'm assuming it's just anything in Vats. Chemist. With the chemist perk, any chems you take last twice as long. That sounds good. That sounds good. Does that apply to stim packs? Because if it applied to stim packs, I would probably take it, no lie. Because stim packs are overtime in hardcore mode. But I don't know if it applies. So, eh. Jury rigging. I've heard about this one. You possess the amazing ability to repair any item using a roughly similar item. Fix a trail carbine with a hunting rifle, a plasma defender with a laser pistol, or even power armor with metal armor. How does it work? Nobody knows except you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then you could use the less expensive items to repair the more expensive items, and it's uh, just kind of a win-win. That's the way it was explained to me by all y'all nice people in the comments section. Light step. With the light step perk, you'll never set off an enemy's mines or floor-based traps. I'm not going to fuss with that because my companions will set them off anyway. Well, I really like chemist and jury rigging. If I go back, do I think I could... There's uh, no way I could pump up medicine to 60-something. That's just not going to happen. So I'll just ignore that. I actually like Advantium Skeleton anyway. Because... Our limbs take 50% of the damage that normally would. That's pretty nice. Especially since I've been running on around without a helmet. So, been getting that crippled face going on sometimes. I think I'm going to take the Amanium Skeleton. Skeleton. Good day. Good day. Oh, no! Beatrix, why? Please, go, s just put, put, okay. You, I, 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 I get it. Okay. All right, we're good. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Uh, some new eyes <laughs> or bleach for these. <laughs> okay. Well, it's nice to meet you, Francine. Do you need any help with anything? I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, okay. needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. Okay, we'll have to shoot anyone. <laughs> I'm kind of in the mood to shoot someone, I'm not going to lie. Well, what kind of caps are we talking about here, Francine? If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. 25% is more than fair. It would add up to 150 caps if you bring them all in. I see. This kind of work costs time and money. 50-50 would cover the expenses. Yeah, let's go with that. All right, 50-50 it is, but you better bring back all of the caps. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be coming for you. Sure, no problem. That sounds good, as long as I don't have to kill it. Well, that, nah, okay, yeah, we can do it. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their names are Grex, Santiago. Santiago, and Lady Jane. James tells me you already handled Santiago by getting him to work for us. We'll just garnish his wages. Okay. What about Grex? Grex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. He owes 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. Okay, what about Lady Jane? Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR prospector. I'm not sure where to find her. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. That's quite a bit of caps. I'll see what I can do. Anything else you need? No, I I think I'm good. I think I'm good. What do you have on tap? 
Caps up front. We don't do tabs here. Yeah, I get the message. I get the message about tabs. So beer, Nuka Cola, Scotch, sarsaparillas, vodka, whiskey, wine. Nothing I want. Thank you though. Goodbye, Francine. See ya. I'm happy your quest wasn't the same as Garrett's quest. Ooh, are you doing your show now? Hey, it's me. You thought I was a heckler. Remember me? I'm not a heckler. I mean, I guess I'm kind of heckling right now, but I'm not trying to. Good day. What? Are you kidding? It's over? But I just, I just got here. That's so yep. sad. Well, I guess now that they're both downstairs, I can finish my investigation into the upstairs rooms. Don't mind me, I'm just a concerned citizen. Trying to make sure that everything is good. What is that? Nuka-Cola Victory? I want it. I want it. And what's in here? Mm, nah, it's not really worth stealing too much. Ooh, a floor safe. Very hard floor safe. Well, we can't get it open yet, but I'm interested in the fact that it exists. Nothing of particular interest in the cabinets. Just some new colas and stuff. That's great. Try to ignore the ambient sound. That place is still haunted, clearly. And why do they have a bathroom like this upstairs if this is just for them? Like, they were like, you're not allowed to be up here. Wait, is that because... Okay, so this is where the all the workers stay. Workers. Right. Well, I want to take their stuff, I do. And, yeah. This is going to be the workers' room. And I don't even really care about what's in their cabinets. There's not going to be anything good. It's probably just going to be like a bunch of sexy sleepwear and I've already got plenty of that. Whoa! They've seen me. It's okay. I'm not concerned about it. They sleep during the day. Keep moving. Yeah, okay, I get it. Bye! I was done in here anyway. I'm sure there's nothing in the other bathroom anyhow, so... I'll just call it quits. We didn't really get anything. We got, like, the victory soda, so that's kind of cool, but... Eh, it could have been... Could have been better. I've got my eye on you. Well, that's nice. Okay, let's try the roulette table again now that I know how to correctly place bets. So you increase the bet first. Oh, wow, isn't that a revelation? You increase the bet before you place the bet. What do we want to go on? I'm thinking I feel pretty good about red. 35 on red. Yeah, why not? And... Sure. Please give me something. Red's a nice color, isn't it? Hooray, we did it! Oh, I love the clapping that you get. Yes, very nice. Okay, thank you. That's all I wanted. That's why I didn't cash in my chips, by the way. So I could come back here and play that game the right way once. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Looking to exchange? Well, these don't weigh anything. Maybe I'll keep them around. I, I kind of like... I kind of like... Being able to... Do that. Well, I'll, I'll turn them in. In what currency would you like your payout? Non-caps currencies will have fractions paid out in caps. I just want caps. I mean... Just caps. Caps it is. Will there be anything else? That's it. Thanks. I appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Look at that. We made a little bit of money. Isn't that nice? Uh, okay. Don't look at her. Just, 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 it's fine. She's, she's good. She's happy. She's happy. She's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. What are we going to do now? <laughs> okay. Sorry. My brain. I think something's happened to it. I'm dumber than usual. We can collect these debts. No, nah, I don't want to. You know what I want to do? I really want to continue with, you can depend on me. We can at least make it to McCarran. Like, I'm not saying we're going to do everything there is to do at McCarran. I'm pretty sure that we're not because 
there's no way. I mean, if it's as big as I think it is. I could be wrong. I could get there and it could be like a tent and the one doctor guy and that could be it. But that's that's not going to be the case because they said it was an important um, area of operations. I think maybe they said it was their main base even, but I, I don't want to be wrong on that in case I misheard it. I know, you're going like, well, where are you going, hun? You know, you need to go down the road to the other place. And I'm like, I know, friend. Here's the deal, though. I noticed in the footage when I played it back of us in here that this was here. Look at that. Do do do. It's a star cap, and I really wanted it. So now we have it. I think that makes six I don't want to be wrong. Is that 16 star caps? Come on. Oh, no, that's aid menu. What am I even doing? I told you. Something's wrong today. 16! Oh, I was right about something. We've still got activity going on in the cranium, guys. I haven't been completely broken yet. Nice. <laughs> Very proud about it. I guess while we're here, we can say hello to Park Parker. Hello, Mr. Park Parker. Have you found out what happened to those missing refugees? I haven't. I just wanted to say bye, but I'll be back later. Keep at it. I need to find out what happened. Okay, don't worry. We'll figure it out. I'm sure. But for the moment, I have an important delivery to make. Because deliveries are important to me. I'm a courier, after all. So I have to do the currying. I should have gone by Ralph's to apologize. I'll be sure to apologize to Ralph later. I actually need to tell the followers that I succeeded with the Garrett thing, too. Thanks for another time. It's not the last time we're ever going to be in Freeside. We can do those things later. For now, marching on to Camp McCarran. It should be right up here on the left. Somewhere on the left. We may have to go all the way around this fenced-in part. This fenced-in part might actually be it. If I look at the world map, yeah, it looks like it's probably this circle. You see the circle? Yeah. Well, that's fine. We'll just keep marching on until we get there. Enjoying the nice sunny day. A little bit of rest and relaxation after everything we've been through today. <laughs> oh, it's the sign! Look, guys, it's the sign. I saw the sign. Da -da 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 -da. That's probably a copy strike. Okay. Welcome to fabulous New Vegas. Looks great. Don't you think it looks great, guys? I mean, it's a little beat up, but they did a really nice job putting these new, new letters on there. I can appreciate the work that went into that. So is this the Camp McCarran music? Because it's frankly fabulous. Yep. McCarran Field. Ooh, is this neon? Does that light up at night? Oh, very cool. I bet the Legion didn't have anything that cool. They totally don't. No way. No way would they have anything as cool as this neon. All they have are their shoulder pads and skirts. That's what they've got. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, it does look like it's pretty sizable in here. I want to push the button. <laughs> I want to mess with the bridge, but I guess I can't. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Can you speak to me? Nice job out there. Oh, uh, thank you very much. That's very nice of you to say so. Looks like we're supposed to go... Ooh, probably in there. To find our guy. But I want to look out here first. I do appreciate the craftsmanship of their practice dummies. Are there any people out here to speak to? They have their aid supplies and gun cabinets and whatnot. Oh yeah, there's people out here. Hi, outside people. You having a, a good productive day? You wishing for a nuclear winter? Man, Doc Kemp really fixed me up right the last time I got shot. He's the man to see if you need some fixing. Well, that's cool. Who's Doc Kemp? Is he any relation to Dr. 
Hildern. Any at all? Hi, fellas! Hi! No one wants to really speak with me. Ooh! Snatch! That's fine. I'm sure they, they didn't think it was suspicious that Boone was crouching. Of course not. Why would they? Ooh! Another one. What is this one? That's life. I should probably take these bottle caps too, huh? No, I'll leave their caps. I'm not going to be mean to the NCR. I'll let them keep their money. Hello, hi, hello. Glad you're with us. Me too. It's pretty good to be here. Looks like you've got fresh potatoes, mantis legs. You guys really like those mantis legs. I've seen I've seen you eat them off the floor before. I mean, not you specifically, but that one NCR guy did. Hello. We should be taking the fight to the Legion, not waiting for them to pick us apart. That's probably true. Hopefully, if I join up with you guys, we'll be able to do that. That might be fun. See a bunch of guys in wolf hats running around on fire. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Good relaxing vacation. <laughs> well, here we are. It's the McCarran. What does that say? Airport. That's it. The A was gone, and I was like, what could this possibly be? I had to puzzle it out. Well, let's make that delivery. I'm sure it's a very important message. I wonder what it says, actually. I don't think I can actually read it. Hello, hi, hello. I wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. Oh, do you like Boone? Are you jealous? You just wish you had one because he'd give you this sweet hat. I know. I understand. I would be jealous, too. So, he's over this way. Is he up the stairs, or is he behind the stairs? Probably up the stairs. But I guess since I'm already down here, I'll check down here first. But, since I just reminded myself about notes, we have, like, notes that I need to actually, like, look at. Like, we have the Overseer's password from back at the time. We have... Our notes about Keith and the stuff he was doing. We have a note about Frank's family. He asked me to find his family. He thinks they may have been enslaved in Cottonwood Cove by Legion. We'll get around to that. And then... Omerita stopped buying from Mick. Mick from Mick and Ralph says, Omerita stopped buying guns suddenly without giving a reason why. Maybe I should ask around. Yeah, I should ask around about that. And I wonder what this terminal access card is for. That's great. I mean, I like how lots of them actually give you, like, a password, and this gives you, like, no information about it. I wonder what this could do. Oh, it's a big mystery. It's a big mystery because I, uh, didn't even... Hello. Hi, Hill... Angela? Why did I think your name started with an H? Did I scroll over something else? I'm tripping, guys. I thought it said Hildy for a minute. <laughs> I really did. Sorry, Angela. Sorry. I'll let you get back to work. We need to talk to... Hildern! Maybe that's why I thought that. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Vault 22? No, it's the first I've heard about Vault 22. But I guess first I should say that I'm, I'm actually just here with an invoice from Alice McLafferty at the Crimson Caravan. From Alice? I'll see that she's paid right away. What about me? Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Mm -hmm. Was there anything else? Or yeah. were you just here about the invoice? No, no, no. I mean, I was just here about that. But I really want to know about Vault 22. I might be able to help you. Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to us. Wait, why do I need to sign a release form? Vault 22. Form? Where to begin? Well, that's probably just a bunch of bureaucratic red tape, right? It's probably not important if I sign it or not. I, I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. That sounds nice. And all of this, all this, 
requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Well, I mean, no, nothing... Nothing is impossible. Yeah, nothing's impossible. Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over, but how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. Oh, I'm the body glad that I'm I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. Okay, can you tell me what the OSI is first? Mm. Scientific discovery is never as simple as that. Though, I think I get what he's saying. I think he's trying to tell me that Vault 22 might have a geck. Hmm? How about that for connecting the dots? Are we going to go get a Gek from 22? Probably not, I doubt it. But we could at least look for one. But yeah, scientific discovery is never that simple, Doc. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Okay, that sounds great, actually. Yeah, I think that sounds good. I'll totally do it. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level. Oh, they yeah. have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Yeah, that's like Download where I all the information on the went... central server to your pip boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? I mean, yeah, if I find anything, I'll bring them to you, but is there is there anything else I need to know, buddy? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Okay. Downloading the data will be handled by your pip boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. Okay, cool. That sounds good. I have some other questions, though. Oh? What might those be? Can you please tell me more about the OSI? Assuming it's some kind of scientific organization that's part of the NCR, but I don't... really know... Well, organization of scientific... something... interest... Organization of Scientific Interest, am I right? The Office of Science and Industry. It's uh, a rather expensive I got like one. topic. I could talk for hours, but I'm sure I'd bore you. Suffice to say, we are the leading edge of the NCR. Our work focuses on practical matters medicine, engineering, biology. Well, those are noble goals. The dam, for instance. OSI roots its energy supply to our cities in the West. That's only one responsibility of this office. I see. And. You said you're the director? Director of the entire OSI? Me? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to plant seditious ideas in my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, I direct our eastern operations. I've been responsible for squeezing unprecedented levels of power from the dam. That's nice. I'm also confronting the problem of food production in what oh, little spare time I have. But I've found some promising leads. Yeah, that's why you need me to go to 22. So you're doing all this yourself? Yes, with the assistance of my team, of course. Okay, so the NCR has a food shortage. I remember talking with the lovely people over at Sharecropper Farms, and they said that they're not getting their entire water ration. Not yet, but our government understands the value of proactive thought. Our studies project an imbalance between production and consumption. Or, for a layman such as yourself, not enough food, too many mouths to feed. Mass starvation in a decade or so. I see. Well, what other responsibilities does this office have? We aid some programs the Republic has sponsored involving sharecropper farms in the area. But those haven't panned out too well from what I hear. There have been complaints about the amount of water we're supplying. But those are just excuses for lack of diligence, I'm sure. I don't think so. Whenever he told me about the lack of water, I really think he was serious. Do you control the dam from here? I imagine not. This isn't anywhere close to it. They probably have, like, a 
place closer. Do you remember whenever we were looking off the hill above that last vault? You could kind of see that big building. I bet that's where they control it from. Directly? No. But we attempt to maximize its output. You have no idea how difficult it is to provide power to an entire nation. I've already helped with that Fortunately, problem. Fortunately, we also have the Helios One facility. Yeah. One of our external contractors recently got the station up and running. Yeah, that was me. His name was something like exceptional <laughs> or marvelous mm -hmm. or... Oh, mm, maybe, maybe his name was Shaggy. <laughs> yes, that was it. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, fantastic, that guy. He was, uh, he was a legend, wasn't he? So, what do you think of the NCR's chances against the Legion? To be frank, I have no idea. I leave the fighting to Colonel Shu, and I expect him to leave the science to me. I heard about him. Too many people have opinions on things they know nothing about. And the more ignorant they are, the more opinions they have. I see. That's an interesting take on it. Well, thank you very much, Thomas. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. I, I guess that's all we have to talk about. So, Vault 22, huh? Should I take a quick look? We need to return to Alice. There stands the grass. Let's take a little look. It's not pointing me outside this place. Hmm. Interesting. Wonder why he Did Dr. Boone! Oh this no. This really isn't any of my business, oh, but no. did he give you a job? <laughs> he did give me a job, Angela. But this is going to be an awkward conversation. Yeah, he wants me to get data for 22. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Oh, it's a really serious then conversation. About a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius. And and he didn't mention her? No. Not even her name? <laughs> no, he didn't. Or any of the other mercs? Mm -mm, not a single one of them. He didn't mention anybody else. Maybe he and I need to have another talk. Yeah, maybe he and I need to have... No, I don't want to get you in trouble. But... Yeah, maybe, maybe I, um, I really want to go with, yeah, maybe I need to talk to him again. No, wait. I don't mean to see any harm come to Dr. Hildern. Unless by talk, you just mean talk. I just mean talk, Listen, sweetie. I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. <laughs> but I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. Okay. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. <laughs> Boone is cracking me up. I'm sorry. I'll totally look for her. I'll do my best to find Keeley. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna actually say goodbye. Right. Good luck. Thanks. Yeah. Download complete. Oh. Begin Eddie, no. <laughs> Navarro no. Outpost Scientist. I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. It's so hard to take it seriously. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm calming down. All right. Um, continue the playback, Eddie. Please handle this information with the utmost care as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. Okay. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. At least we got a nice close-up of his pin on his hat. We could actually see it for once. Hey, Angela. If you can find Keeley and keep her safe, I'll pay you what I can. I gave my word, and I meant it. I like your accent, by the way. I didn't get to mention that a minute ago because I was, um, I was having a personal problem. But I have questions. Of course. Anything. Can you tell me anything else about Keeley? Keeley's brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? How old is she? How old is she exactly? Is she a ghoul? I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war, the Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. So I'm guessing pretty old. 200 years? Maybe more. She's got to be a ghoul. She has to be a ghoul. That is really old. How do Keeley and Hildern get along? Is that relevant? 
Like a Brahmin and a Deathclaw, though I'm not sure which would be which. Bad analogy, maybe. They're both Deathclaws in their way. Keeley hates Hildern. She says he's more politician than scientist, and gets in the way of true discovery. And Hildern hates Keeley because... Well, because every time they meet, she makes him look like an ass. In front of important people, usually. I see. And... What about you? What's your role in all this? Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. I see. You seem like you might be a better fit to be in charge of this team than Hildern is. Hildern mentioned the followers of the Apocalypse. My father used to say good things about them, but that was years ago. Back when they teach farmers and ranchers about crop rotation and the like. Nowadays, they've changed. They're doing what they can to discredit the NCR. Are they? Give us a bad name with the locals. Are they? Because Dr. Julie... Hildren trained with them years ago. Not me, though. I'm an OSI girl. I see. But Julie was friends with Elizabeth, and they were NCR and follower. Well, what do you think of the Hildern? The director? He's very well-spoken and knowledgeable. I see. He seemed focused on results, maybe not so much on people. He's not what you'd call warm, unless he wants something from you. And even then, it's kind of a cold warm. Most of the time, I focus on the science and try to forget him. He doesn't get mixed up in any actual work, though he tells people that he does. Oh, so he just delegates everything? Well, if he's delegating everything, that means he takes credit for what you do, right? He sure does. Everyone knows it. I've just got to endure this job until the project is finished. Or until I throw this guy Keely, out. He crossed a line. Taking credit for other people's work is one thing. Sending people to die in the waste is another. You know what? You don't have if to Hildren pay me. If Hildren tries to recruit any more mercs, I'm going to warn them. What can he do to me? I'm the only one who can run this lab. He might fire you and go get Mr. Fantastic to do it, because apparently he's impressed with that guy. Well, thank you very much, Angela. Right. Stay safe. You too. You don't have to pay me to find Keeley. I'll find her. And I'll do it for free. So this is the Camp McCarran base, huh? How big is it exactly? We don't know. It's at least got the rest of this downstairs. Downstairs continues that way, and then it's got one more upper floor at least. And who knows what that goes to. Anyway, pretty cool stuff. We got uh, we got some stuff done today. So that's going to be it. I'll see you again next time. Until then, please take care of yourself because I love you. Bye, guys.